there, Becca McCombell, sports dietitian and specialist in REDS. Today I want to talk to you about a concept that I have found many of my athletes and clinicians can relate to in regards to how I educate about this phenomenon called REDS, which is relative energy deficit in sport. And I call it paying those bills. So our culture has normalized and many apps and wearables have been um, centered around this concept that calories in should equal calories out. But the truth is that there is a lot of fallacy behind that because our body is really brilliant. And what ends up occurring is when we don't have enough energy coming in for what is expending, it's like a budget. Our body starts looking at, hmm, where can I conserve energy? Should I conserve energy by shutting down reproduction, which means we don't have a menstrual cycle or we don't have morning erections or a sex drive? Do we stop building bone and recycling bone? Because if we don't have enough energy coming in, we're probably not going to be thinking about growing. Do we try to maximize every last little drop of energy that's coming through the digestive tract? So that leads to slowed maybe malabsorptive um, digestion, bloating, uh, reflux, belching, things like that. And so I will always refer back to our athletes. If we're not paying the bills, something is. And those are things to look at when we're looking at that discrepancy between the energy coming in and the energy that's going out. We can still have energy going out and our weight can be stable. Or matter of fact, I've even had some athletes whose weight have trended up. And I believe that this is a compensatory mechanism to protect the body. It, it, at that point, it said, hey, we're not going to let you dip into the savings account. It's like the bank that kind of puts like a minimum threshold on how much money you have to have in before you get charged. But the body's like, well, you know, we don't need reproduction right now. So let's slow this down. Or you don't need to laugh and socialize, so let's think about kind of bringing down that mood, being a little bit more flat effect. And I see this in, I'm not referring to it as desirable, I'm talking about the body as if it was a separate entity and how it might be relating um, to what you are feeling. So this goes back to that athlete narrative. When we are listening to the story that our body is telling us, or our athletes are telling us, or what you may witness firsthand as an athlete provider, we need to think about how is that body paying those energy bills and how much interest do we have to make up now if we're running at a deficit and what do we need to be taken in to keep everything in balance. So give me your thoughts on what you think about that. Let me know how you've been paying those bills and I'll see you next time.